So we were just cruising down the river, or actually up the river. Uh, I wanted to make it up to another campsite I wanted to check out, which is right here. And we wanted to walk through the woods and take a look. And my wife noticed a lobster mushroom. It's, uh, lobster mushrooms are, there's two species of mushrooms that there's a Hypomyces lactiflorum, it, it attacks them. It's a uh, species of the Russula and Lactarius mushrooms. I guess both are, ed they're not poisonous, but from what I've been told, they're not the best to eat. Basically, it, it attacks it and it, it turns uh, the whole outside a completely different structure. So before you would have had a cap and gills and everything and it wouldn't have been kind of hard and orange shaped like this, but once that Hypomyces lactiform attacks them, this is what you end up with. And some people say, before I argue, but yeah, no. Some people say they smell like lobster, seafood. It smells nothing like that. Uh, some people tell you it tastes like lobster, tastes nothing like that. It's, I don't know, I think they got the lobster mushroom name from the look it really i don't know to me it just it looks more like a lobster mushroom or like a lobster than than it smells or tastes but i was walking through i found another one right here they just if you walk along you look you'll see them they'll start to just poke up from underneath and it more often than i look just like a little mound of dirt so if you brush the dirt away you can actually find the the lobster mushroom underneath i'll show you what oh man Show you what I'm talking about is how it's a it's a real meaty mushroom. It's a hard hard kind of shell to it, but sometimes they'll be more of a red color than this. But this is the orange color. You'll have the white on the stem and the orange or reddish color underneath. And if you open it up, it's solid white. There's really, as far as I know, there's no other mushroom that looks like this. And let me get this one. Another thing too is there's as far as I know, oh, this one's not good. I'll show you what I mean. If you look and see, it's, well, I can probably guess. Ooh, big spider. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, buddy. Get out of here. Come on. Get out of there. Yeah, I won't take this one. I'll leave them. But it's starting to get kind of soggy and moldy there. And then you can see it's a little soggy right there. And some insects have actually eaten up into it. Yeah, they ate down into it too. But again, it's a solid meaty mushroom. The orangish red color on the top and bottom. And you can see there it's, it's solid through the stem solid. I'm going to put this guy back where he was. Try to keep that the spores there but we got one we'll take this back we'll cook it up we're up north we have some friends they'll want to try it for the first time <laughs> it was like i was going to say is as far as i know there's been no poisonings from eating a lobster mushroom because there's no way of telling without doing like genetic testing on it i guess to see exactly what mushroom this was before it turned into this uh, as far as I know, it's only the, the Russula and Lactarius mushrooms that it attacks. Not to say that it can't go after like a, I don't know, like a Amanita species that could kill you. Who knows? But like I said, as far as I, as far as I know, there's been no poisonings of lobster mushrooms as far as like maybe an allergic reaction, but no deadly poisonings because it attacked a deadly mushroom. So, lobster mushroom, the reddish, orangish color, pure white meatiness inside. The stem, there's no gills on it. It's solid all the way around. It's a hard shell and it does not smell like lobster. So, if you find one, take it back, research it, go out with people that know what they're doing, go out with people that know how to look for them and have them show you. And you might like it. So, we're gonna go cook it.